see the uh, augers are not hooked up to the gears. So I'm thinking the uh, brass gear in here is toast. Boy in there. So that's it. gear and the auger housing is toast, uh, so I have to replace that. This is my parents, um, and I have no tools over here, and I just, I don't really want to drag my, uh, trailer over to my house. So, plan here is to split the housing off of the engine. Um, I did not bring very many tools with me, so hopefully this does not take very much. Yeah, let's see here. So I think I just gotta split it off here and uh, I'm gonna take the auger housing over to my house, uh, replace the gear, and then bring it back here and put it back together. Uh, all right, first thing, I'm gonna take these two off and then uh, probably loosen up the uh, belt housing guard here. Uh, I'm gonna go after this guard here so we can get the belts off. Um, so this bolt's coming out. And I believe there's uh, one other one in the back over there. So, all right, let's get this off here and see, uh, see what's underneath there. All right, uh, belts are exposed. Just two bolts, took the uh, belt guard off. Uh, I'm gonna take the uh, chute off. So there's two screws here, and then there's two screws on the other side. Um, doesn't look like you can get this belt housing guard off without, um, without taking that off. Um, plus I'd rather just leave it here and uh, just one less thing to carry. So it'll take two seconds to pull that off. There she goes. Right, that's off. That's off. Pull these out of here so I don't lose these. Throw them in the parts bucket or I will probably lose them later. Working with these pulleys, I want to pull the uh, spark plug. I'm actually going to pull the spark plug all the way out. Um, no uh, wrench that big, so I'm going to use these uh, Nipix pliers here. done. My fingers will be safe. Belt doesn't look like it's actually on there that tight, so what we're going to do is uh, see if we can slide this off. Belts are off. Uh, let's go ahead and crack it in half. I'm gonna take out uh, this bolt and this bolt. Okay, bolts are out. Let's see if she'll spread here. Okay, part I want, part I don't want. I'm gonna go bring this into uh, my house my basement and then uh, I'll go from there. All right, this uh, back half bolt has to come off. Uh, these two side bolts. Let's see here. And the auger, these things slide off. The thing comes out, these things slide off. Gear I want is in there. Okay, I left off on this about a week ago, how time flies. Um, parts took forever to get in. Um, I ordered them online from Amazon. I probably should have ordered from uh, like Jack Small Engine or uh, small, small Parts or something like that. Probably would have got faster service. Uh, but everything's here now. Um, I put the uh, uh, gear on here. It's got a little keyway uh, right about here. Um, I just put that on with a hammer. Uh, real light taps. Just tap, tap, tap. Um, I cleaned up this side of the uh, shaft so I could get the housing off, um, but then I put the gear on, forgetting to put on the washer on the other side. So then I went back out to my bench grinder, 
and just uh, wire brushed down the rust on this side and was able to get this housing off. Um, had to do just a touch of grinding right there um, just to slide the housing off. So everything's all set to go back together and um, that's what I'm going to do right now. So, so far it's been pretty uh, easy. Just a uh, basic socket set, hammer, punch, uh, some wrenches, and uh, we're going to put this guy back together here now. I did pick up some RTV, uh, just some cheap stuff from my local fleet farm. That's gonna be what I'm going to use for the uh, gasket uh, here. And then uh, for the grease, um, I did not want to order. I was looking online, everyone said um, uh, zero, 00 grease was what to use in here and zero zero grease stands between um, like number two grease that you would it's just the normal grease you would get on a grease gun and then axle grease which would be the 80 or 75w90 which is pourable uh zero zero grease is basically a pourable grease um when i took this apart and like i cleaned up on the inside and got all the brass shavings out of there um it didn't look like zero zero grease to me it looked like lithium grease um, so that's what i'm gonna use it's gonna be a low temp uh, lithium grease um, it should be good for what I needed to, to do for the, the, this was a uh, $2.99 at my uh, hardware store. And, um, that's what I'm going to use. This is, uh, trying to fix this for my parents and it's, uh, we're doing it on a budget here. Uh, so far in, I think I'm at about $45 and that would include the uh, gear, grease, gasket maker, spark plug, and some new brand new shear pins. Cause, uh, the, the old ones, I mean, they're supposed to break. And they didn't break. Instead, they bent like this. And uh, I'm guessing that was a contributing factor on um, on uh, why the gear went out. So, and then here's the gear. Just all toasted. Oh, oh, oh hold on, guys. Oh. All right, there we go. Just all toasted. Uh, you can see there's some teeth on this side, and there's basically no teeth left on this guy. And then if you see a good one here, uh, you can see there's supposed to be some teeth. So, all right, I'm going to put this guy back together. I'll take a couple more videos when we get there. Okay, here we go. Not a perfect job by any means, but, uh, basically going to slap it together and call her good. So, uh, put these uh, bolts together and, uh, go from there. Okay. So this video was shot in 2017 and is being edited and posted in 2021. Uh, the snowblower is going, doing fine. It's working just great. And I did this with just basic hand tools. So a reason I'm still uploading it now is basically to encourage you to go ahead and try fixing it yourself. Um, it's not that hard as long as you're not too rusted up. Uh, it should go okay. So give it a shot. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you get a chance, please subscribe. That'd be great. See you in the next video.